Hello Sagittarius. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 27th of March until the 2nd of April 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Nine of Cups. You are feeling happy in all areas of your life such as health, finances, work, luck, love or relationships. This is your wish card as its appearance is often taken as a sign that, whatever your heart's desire, it shall be granted in the coming days or weeks. Know that you have paved our own way on the path to success. As a cups card, the nine usually refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before. See the perfection all around you. The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents stability and advancement. This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. The man in the Nine of Cups also appears to have a certain smug look on his face. Indulge yourself in knowing that you have worked hard to get here and you have achieved the results you had hoped for. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Four of Swords. What do you want most right now is a period of rest and recovery after a time of challenge, with the promise that, once recovered, you can and will return to the challenge. In the meantime, the Four of Swords provides the new challenge to stay silent and inactive. This is the time build up your mental strength. Meditate and spend time in a calm atmosphere. You need to replenish your strength and spend time in spiritual thinking. You need to rest and relax. The Four of Swords is a reminder that after every crisis and before every new challenge, there is always a time of relaxation and contemplation. Constant stress and tension will break even the hardest and most resilient of people but brief periods of rest enable you to refresh your energy, concentration and focus, ready for the next challenge. These rests should be used wisely, to heal the body and ready the mind. The Four of Swords is also a sign that you can stop worrying. Put down your defenses and take a breather from the chaos around you. For the moment there is a truce and you can catch your breath without being attacked again. However, bear in mind that a truce and peace are not the same thing. The Four of Swords is a guarantee that challenges will return to your life as soon as you are ready to face them, so make the most of the stillness and quiet you have earned but never lose sight of the fact that the battle is not yet over and that there is still work to be done. This card suggests that now is the time to rest from some difficult times, perhaps the trauma of breakup or departure, relationship or family problems, financial and health worries, stress and conflict. Take a break. This is also not the time to make decisions, particularly when you are at your most vulnerable. In a practical sense, the Four of Swords is an indicator that you need to have some time out from your current circumstances, to reflect and review your progress so far. This is a good time to re-evaluate and reassess your priorities. It is almost like conducting your own post-implementation review following a major milestone or a major challenge. 
create some time and space to reflect on what has worked well, what has not worked well and what you need to change for the future. Pausing for reflection after each major challenge will position you well for success in the future. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Queen of Wands. You are afraid of a situation in which someone is behaving in a manipulative, pushy or selfish way. One of you seems to be in a chronically bad mood, and is angry, resentful and jealous. You may find yourself being attacked or bullied, or behaving this way yourself. Perceptions are skewed and information is being twisted into lies. Someone is demanding, controlling, petty and narrow-minded. The Queen of Wands can also indicate that you have recently lost your confidence in yourself and have become a shrinking violet. You shy away from being in the limelight as you worry that others may think you are not the real deal anymore. You may have even had a recent fall from grace and are now slightly embarrassed about your reputation. What you need to do is restore faith and belief in yourself. Draw from that positive energy that usually lies within and know that you can combat anything once you set your mind to it. The fourth card for you is representing what is going for you. Your card is the King of Wands. There would be a male significant figure in your life, most likely from fire signs, who is goal-oriented and full of creativity. He is a natural-born leader of all kinds of people, and he is very visionary. Once he sets himself a goal, he sticks to it and ensures that he can make it happen with the support of those around him. People naturally gravitate towards this king as they know he will get things done and will do it very well. He is a master, too, at being able to get other people to do his work for him, and keep them on side throughout the process. He looks forward to challenges because he enjoys the natural rush of adrenaline associated with solving a difficult problem and coming to a solution that will benefit not just one person but many people. In the process, he not only rids himself of his own fear but that of others, by reassuring them that they shall all succeed. He is not all talk, either, and when the going gets tough, he is prepared to do the hard yards to see something through to the end. The King of Wands has a deep and innate respect for other people, and his compassion extends far. He knows how to bring out the best in others and to empower them to deliver his visions and goals, which he knows will be of benefit to the greater population. If this king represents yourself, you are someone who is very visionary and goal-oriented. You achieve a lot because you are very clear about your future direction and how you will get there. You do not waste your time on activities or relationships that you believe will lead nowhere. You never just go with the flow, instead you prefer to embark on a strong and direct course of action. The King of Wands reminds you to lead your life with intent, vision and a long-term view. Know that even though you are experiencing challenges now this is just a part of your journey to something much more positive. Eventually, you will see this time as just a little blip on the radar and it will have simply served to make you stronger. Stay focused on your long-term goals. The appearance of the King of Wands also suggests that an opportunity is presenting itself to you, and you now have the power to accept the opportunity and take on the challenge. You are the determining factor in this situation, and circumstances will navigate in the direction you steer them. Indecision or doubt will not be appropriate responses when clarity and confidence are acquired. However, as you progress in this new role, it will begin to feel more comfortable. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the two of pentacles. You are afraid that you won't be able to juggle all of your responsibilities. You are very busy and at times you struggle to manage your activities and commitments. 
you may also be struggling to manage your finances and to stay on top of paying bills and keeping a bridge of other financial commitments. The stress is getting to you and you are becoming easily overwhelmed by your responsibilities. Therefore, this card encourages you to become more organized and more planned in your approach. You may need to bring a little more structure to your day-to-day -day affairs, through budgets, to-do lists, forward planning or diary and effective time management. Life is certainly a juggling act, so make sure you are on top of everything you need to be. You are also not managing your work and family commitments properly. It is more than likely you are investing most of your time in work, neglecting your family or your partner. While you may be able to get away with a couple of late nights at work, there will come a time when enough is enough and you will need to make a choice. Something has got to give. Additionally, you are finding it hard to manage your finances and your cash flow may be quite unpredictable. Now is the time to start a budget and stick to it. In term of your relationship, you should not overcommit yourself, particularly on a more physical, logistical, material plane. Do not commit to too many plans as a couple at this stage or make any financial commitments together. Watch your spending and also how you manage your time. You may find that you get caught up with work or other commitments at this time which distracts your attention from your relationship. It will all come down to where your priorities lie and whether you want to let other commitments interfere with your relationship, or vice versa. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Four of Pentacles. You are very conservative about money and are not inclined to gamble in financial matters. You are very protective of what you have accumulated over time, and slowly and steadily you increase your net worth through saving money and safe investments. You are self-sufficient both financially and emotionally, as you often equate money with emotional security. This card also indicates possessiveness, greed and an overly cautious approach to life. You may be afraid to take risks, both financially and emotionally for fear of losing everything that you have attained so far. As a result, you may be vaguely unhappy and unfulfilled. Deep down you are starting to realize that you have sold out for a conservative and overly safe approach to life. Thus, the Four of Pentacles indicates one of the dangers of prosperity the temptation to value money far above its real worth. If wealth and financial success lead to a miserly or penny-pinching attitude, then you have found yourself in a narrow-minded state where nothing is perceived to have any significant value other than money. This attitude is an expression of extreme attachment to the material things of the world and is unhealthy in the long term. Sometimes, the Four of Pentacles can indicate an inflexible attitude that is resistant to change. You have already established a way of living that now works for you, so why change? Change appears to be a threat to your certainty, safety and security, and may place you at risk of losing all that is important to you. Any suggestion of doing things differently is therefore going to be met with resistance for fear of how it will impact your personal sense of security. Thus, you are more likely to favor tradition and tried and tested ways of doing things, rather than taking any risks at this point. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Ten of Air. This situation has ended. Fortunately, endings are always followed by new beginnings. You may feel sadness over what has transpired, mixed with welcome relief. It is time to walk away and embrace the dawning of a new day. Expect your circumstances to improve. It may be time to change your career. Perhaps you've completed a long-term project or have decided to pursue other employment. Don't he put limits on what wonderful things the universe can bestow. Cast your net far and see what fantastic opportunities you might catch.
Additional meanings of this card, nowhere to go but up. Recovery from an addiction. A melodramatic reaction. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.